Hey guys, Sark here from Sark e Tech, and in today's video, what we're going to do is we are going to be talking about the Samsung DeX functionality on the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. So as you can see, I have my Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. When I double tap it, right now it's in the trackpad mode, and it's connected via one cable to this monitor, okay? So basically, you can take and you can convert your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 smartphone, and that could be the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, into a desktop PC, as you can see. So here's Samsung DeX, all right? My Samsung Galaxy S20 is connected to a monitor, and the whole thing is transformed into a computer this is a built-in functionality for the Samsung uh, smartphones. I can go to the internet, I can browse the web. As I'm browsing the web, I can actually go through my Instagram so I can multitask from here to here, no problem. I can have all these various applications, even a phone, and make phone calls from here, okay? So let's dive in and get some more details on how to accomplish this and see all the features. All right, so with this default setup, when I connect the phone to the monitor, I'll show you what cable you need in a second. Uh, if I tap this one right over here, it is right now in trackpad mode. And as you can see, I have a mouse that I can move around. I can go over here, I can go into my settings and all that. I'm gonna show you all these things in detail. Uh, but first, let me show you how to set this up and do it for yourself. So the only accessory you need to accomplish this task is a monitor that has an HDMI in port or even a USB in port for display. So I have this cable right here that goes from the USB type C all the way around to the back of the actual monitors HDMI in port. Let me show you that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So that's the HDMI in port that is connected to the, to the monitor from the phone and the phone has the USB type C. So all you need is a USB type C cable to input to your TV, all right? I'll drop a link to this cable down below. Now what happens is the very first time you connect the phone to a monitor, this is not what you're gonna see, all right? So what happens, let me show you actually. So let me disconnect this. So when I disconnect this, as you can see, the phone goes back to normal mode, that's the S20 Plus, and the monitor just shuts off. But if I take the cable, and if I plug it in into the USB port, as you can see, take a look at what happens to the uh, monitor. So the phone actually gets a quick uh, notification and this is what happens to the monitor. It turns into a actual computer. And then over here, I have a couple options. I can swipe this down and I can actually use the phone as a touchpad. And I can also do this. Let me just go down here. Uh, I can actually tap here to Samsung mirroring. So if I tap this, I can mirror the phone to the actual TV. And as I use this, okay, you'll see exactly what I'm doing here is occurring on the screen. So that's a nice uh, way to play a game on the actual monitor. But if you wanna go to the computer mode, you swipe this down and you tap to switch to Samsung DeX mode. You tap on this one and boom, now it's gonna turn into an actual computer desktop-like experience. And one more thing you can do here is you can swipe this down and you can tap over here to use your phone as a touchpad. Now, when you do that, this transforms into a touchpad so you can use everything that you want. By the way, you can tap this to rotate the touchpad so you can use it in all kinds of different ways. All right, so I can use it right here. I can go over here. I can launch the game launcher. As you can see, it's right there and all that good stuff. So I also want to let you know that if you want, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse to the phone and use them on this as if it was a desktop PC. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the uh, Samsung DeX interface and show you all the features in the actual interface after you set this up. Like I said, I'll drop a link to this cable down below. Remember, uh, this is a USB type C cable to an HDMI in cable that goes to the back of the TV. This could be any TV, it could be a high definition TV, could be any gaming monitor or any regular computer monitor that you please, all right? All right, so what you're seeing right over here is a Samsung Galaxy S20 converted into a desktop PC-like environment. And as you can see, I can go over here, I can go into all my applications, I can tap over here uh, to see all my notifications. And of course, I can tap over here uh, to get into all my quick toggles and whatnot. And of course, I can even go to the uh, internet browser here 
and browse the web in a full screen browser. And if I wanted to, I can even attach a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard uh, to type in. And of course to type, what I can do is when I come over here, I can either use the on screen keyboard on the phone or I can use a keyboard on the actual uh, screen right here uh, through the keyboard setting. So I all right, so let's dive into some of the details of Samsung DeX. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick is if you tap on DeX right here, you have a bunch of options. You even have the option on how to use it. You can lock DeX, you can go to DeX Labs, or you can even exit DeX right from here. You can also tap on this one right here, and that's gonna bring up all your applications. And if I were to launch an application, it would launch in the regular mode, as you can see right here. Uh, it launched in its tablet mode right here. And then if I go back here, uh, let me tap on this one more time. Uh, if I were to go to Instagram, this would launch in the phone mode as you can see. So that's fantastic, all right? Now let me X this out. I'll let you know one thing. Actually, let me just go back there. Let me just relaunch it. So let me relaunch that. I'm gonna minimize it. So when you minimize this, it simply goes down to the task bar right here and you can even preview it as you hover above it with the mouse, all right? And then uh, that's what we have. We have the apps here. Let me launch the settings. You have access to all your settings. As you can see, I can minimize this. Uh, let me launch the internet. It's gonna launch in full screen, but again, I can make it uh, smaller. I can move it around. I can resize it. I can do everything you can do on an actual um, desktop computer. This is, this is superior, okay? This is a very good thing to have on your phone. Uh, for free. So let me minimize that. Let me show you what's happening over here. Here we have all the notifications. These are the same notifications you would get on your smartphone. It's coming up right over here. And then over here in this bar, we have all our quick toggles. I can turn Wi-Fi off, sound off, uh, Bluetooth off or whatever. And of course, over here, I have the keyboard options. If I tap it, uh, here's the volume control. As you can see, we get all the options. I can take a screenshot by tapping this one, boom. Takes a screenshot and I can search using the finder. I can search everything on my phone. Now when I right click on the actual uh, desktop, I can clean up the page, I can sort or I can go to wallpapers for decks. And as you can see, I can go to the gallery if I want to or pick some of the default wallpapers that you can see right here. So let me just uh, apply the blue one right here. And that's a brand new wallpaper that I just applied. Uh, I can go to my files, browse all the files from here. Okay, and again, I can minimize this. And obviously you can multitask. I can have multiple applications uh, on the desktop. I can have my Instagram right here. I could be browsing over here. I can take phone calls as they come in. Uh, if I were to go to my phone application, which should be right over here, if I click on it, uh, it brings up the phone. And I can, from here, I can actually dial a number and call and I'll be able to talk to the speaker phone of the smartphone. Unless you have a Bluetooth headset connected, then you can just do it through the headset. But this is amazing that I can do all these things. I can multitask. Now, when I go to DeX, and if I go to DeX Labs, uh, this is just uh, some options that gives you additional functionality if you enable them, force apps to resize. Now, if I were to launch the YouTube application, obviously I can watch videos on Samsung DeX no problem. So here's the YouTube application. I can go over here and I can tap on one of these guys and I can start to play the video. The uh, let me kill the volume. To the so let me just kill the volume real quick uh, right from here so we don't have to listen to it. So let's do this. All right, so I'm, I'm playing the, the video. Look at this. I can maximize it. So that's great. Okay. Uh, I can also maximize it from here. So to go to true full screen, I can do that as well. And if I want to kill it, I go up here and I can exit out or minimize it again. But look at that. You could be watching this. You could be browsing the internet. This is absolutely fantastic as you can see. All right. Uh, definitely great for multitasking. Now, some of the other things we have, you can go to your gallery. You can go to your gallery, obviously, and you can browse through all the photos. As you can see, I can just browse through these photos uh, as I please. All right. So that's fantastic. Uh, but that's basically everything. We also have at the bottom here, we have the home button. Uh, we have the recents button, gives you a preview of all the windows that are open. We have the back button. Uh, I can tap it. Uh, this is all great, okay? So this is the Samsung DeX functionality on your Samsung Galaxy S20 series smartphones. And all you need to activate this is a cable, all right? And a monitor with HDMI in 
port. And if I go back into settings, just to show you quickly, uh, I can scroll through. I have specific Samsung deck settings here. Uh, for example, I can go to the keyboard, attach a Bluetooth keyboard. Right now, I can go from the phone keyboard to a monitor keyboard, all right? So when I minimize this, if I go to the internet, uh, if you don't, if you, you can, you, you don't need the, the Bluetooth keyboard. You can simply use uh, the whole thing by itself. So if I tap here, take a look, I have, a, I have an own screen keyboard. I can type from here, uh, google.com or whatever I wanna, I wanna do, all right? So that's fantastic. You have all these options in the settings for Samsung DeX, and you can of course uh, access all the other settings on your phone right through here. Even the dark mode works on Samsung DeX. This is fantastic, all right? Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. Uh, and for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? Make sure to stay tuned for more amazing videos.